it's easier getting everyone out than it is putting them all in. Oh no, there's always something going on here, right? So much work during the winter months. It's not my favorite time of the year, as you can imagine. Darwin's pushing 30 years old, people. She's only got about another 150 years left. We're trying to like up our game here at Camp Canada. There's gonna be poopies in here, so don't be offended. Who's in here? Hey, Pinky. Don't attack anyone, kid. See, this is kind of fun because you guys get to see pretty much all the animals, huh? But you gotta really like reptiles and keeping reptiles to enjoy this channel. Little baby running, you're like, how you doing? She's gonna destroy my arms. People think I'm into self-harm, but no, I'm just a lizard keeper. Oh, hi, kid. How you doing? She's pooping on me. Guys, we got it. We got Stevie. Look at his little guy. Hey, little guy. Hello, baby. Look at this guy, how big he's got, right? Oh, but he's doing that monitor thing. Let's get stinky slinky. Slinky, look at this. Uh, hardcore viewers know where I'm going next. You guys know what's up. Uh, if you play with those things, you're gonna wind up with these things. I'm a little bashed up today, people. Had a bit of a cross country race and um, man, woo, I got dealt with. Well, here's what's going on. We've got a whole brand new pile of what will become fencing. But right now, what we have to do is we have to get animals out. They've been locked up for two and a half days because bam, it was wintry here down in the mid fifties. And these two gals, as you can see, are stretched out and sunbathing. So not really worried about the sulcatas. They're very, very smart. They go in and out of their, their shelter every single night. Uh, during the days, it got up to about uh, low 70s. But at night, it was dropping down so low that I had to keep them locked up. Um, so that's what's been going on. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and let some animals out today, which will be kind of fun because you get to see most of the animals here at the camp. I do have a screw gun and uh some of the doors i had to just kind of keep uh nailed shut because not all the tortoises are as intelligent as the sulcatus and they'll push right back out and uh one of the species that likes to do that are the radiated tortoises so let's go ahead and just move this this is what i use to block them in you know very high tech stuff going on here today but it's easier getting everyone out than it is putting them all in because they'll come out on their own but here's all my radiateds all eight of them they're looking good very happy little boogers we also have four more uh, in another enclosure we're going to let out we ran um, well water to keep the ponds warm uh, they were kept at about 72 degrees but uh, we're going to go over to darwin socrates and nostradamus right now and let them out they've been cooped up for a couple of days because uh, I had to fall off a bicycle <laughs> um, and I wanted to keep them in because like I said it wasn't optimal temperatures so let's see how they're doing I'll come out um, every night and check them make sure the temps are holding steady make sure that the um, to also make sure that you know the temps are working that everything's going the way it should here at the camp so i'm going to set you guys up let me just go ahead and unscrew this these guys are strong i haven't built the door for them um because to be quite honest it doesn't happen that often the cold oh my god my knee hurts it took really i took probably one of the best crashes best slams on my mountain bike uh this past weekend so uh i'm moving a little bit slower let's see Who's not moving slow are our tortoises, our beauties, our giant tortoises here at the camp. Come on out, kids. Come say hello to everyone. You guys want to see them? I want to see them. I miss these guys. Come here. Hey, there's everybody. All right, looking good, looking good. Socrates way in the back there. There's my girl Darwin. Okay. And it looks like last night they unplugged their heat but they're feeling good oh no there's always something going on here right you can always count on an animal to screw things up which is why i'm always checking them last night heat was on this morning they're moving around they're getting rambunctious and it's off so let's plug it in let's plug it right in and i'm gonna have to fix this so that they can't unplug their lights 
All right, there they are. Come on out, everyone. Come on out. It's morning. Socrates wants out. They're gonna come out and they love to go over to this area and that's where they get warmed up because that's where the sun's gonna hit first. Um, man, it's so much, so much work during the uh, winter months. It's not my favorite time of the year, as you can imagine. Um, you know, basically it's just cold enough that it makes life very difficult. And so the last, you know, few weeks, you guys know I've been preparing for winter. I've been talking a lot about it. Um, you know, those of you who have followed the channel for a long time have seen videos like this. Others uh, know that it's, uh, maybe you're new to the channel, but this is the challenge when you live uh, here in Florida. It's not quite perfect. Um, it's much better than New York where I grew up, but it's still cold enough to give, uh, give some trouble. So if you're not very vigilant in taking care of the animals, what can happen is they'll get sick and you don't want them to get sick, right? Good looking, come on kid, come on out of here, sweetheart. I know you're not a kid, but you're a kid to me, even though you're a giant tortoise. She's, uh, well, how old is Darwin now? Darwin's pushing 30 years old, people. Come on out. There you go. She's getting up there. She's only got about another 150 years left. Hi, you sweet thing. Come on out here. I love her. And um, you guys remember a few months ago, uh, she got her head caught in something, and I thought she was going to die on me, but she's not. No, you're not, you did good. Dr. Mike Gillen, my buddy Jerry, and my wife helped get this girl all back to normal. Kate was the one who actually saw that she was in trouble, so thank goodness for wives who pay attention to all the small details, which sometimes drives me crazy. But I'm glad she was paying attention to our girl doll in here. And here comes Nazi, good old Nostradamus sticking his nose through. He's our Aldabra tortoise. Of course, there's two types of giant tortoises on Earth. There is the Aldabra tortoise from the Aldabra Atoll in the Seychelles Islands in the Indian Ocean. And then there is this big lug, uh, the Galapagos tortoise from the Galapagos Islands. And each island has a different tortoise. And there has been historically different species of Aldabra, but they are no longer around. There's only, uh, to my knowledge, one or two subspecies left. Uh, I gotta double check on that, not 100% sure, but um, there were more uh, variety of giant tortoise in the Indian Ocean. Uh, but anyway, they're coming out now. So this makes me happy because they're coming on out. Welcome out, welcome out, everyone, please, single file. Come on. Oh boy, don't step on, you can really break an ankle and I, I've already done enough damage to myself this week. Let's not get hurt by the tortoise, okay? Okay, we're gonna leave the uh, screw gun there because we may need it here soon. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm real happy. I feel as good as I do today because uh, whew, got bashed. I got bashed, and I'm kind of getting old, people. I'm getting up there in age, but at least I know I can still take a pretty good crash. Um, anyway, that's what's going on. Oh, check it. So I've cleaned out uh, all of the uh, plant life that was around this fence. We're going to reinforce the fence. We're going to take those pickets I showed you earlier. It's going to be awesome. Really, really excited about getting to work on this project. So um, going to feel really good when it's done because I'm trying to totally transform the camp. We're trying to like up our game here at Camp Cannon. We want to make this place look like you've showed up to, you know, one of the coolest zoos in the United States. I'm going to build my own private, awesome facility. And uh, we're off to a good start, but I really want things to look just dynamite. So that's what I'm trying to do. Here, of course, there's going to be poopies in here, so don't be offended. Uh, these are the cherry head tortoises. As you can see, they've got a heat pad right there. Uh, they'll wake up and come on out and do their thing here. The elongateds are actually quite tough. Uh, I don't worry about them. I don't round them up until it gets into the 30s. These guys are pretty tough, and I've got so much leaf litter, you can see. They're buried into the leaf litter. See this? They're emerging right now because the temps are kind of rising up. What do we got here? They love to burrow in, and when I come out and I check the temps with my temperature gun, uh, these guys are in the high 60s when it's about 10, 15 degrees cooler uh, air temperature. 
So you can kind of see, that's what I like to do. I like to just put um, all of this leaf litter in here, uh, the pine needles, the dirt, the soil, uh, and they really just burrow into it. In some cases, here in Florida, that's all you really need in some cases. Uh, guys like Tom Crutchfield, um, you know, they, they use a lot of hay and stuff um, and gentle heat. Um, something I want to just mention about my buddy Tom, he had a horrible thing happen to him. Last week, uh, vandals broke onto his facility and opened cages, killed his blue tree monitor female, and stole his croc monitor Jimmy. They left cages open, they let animals wander out. Um, I don't know if it was some kind of sabotage from some wacky animal rights group or if it was just thieves. Um, but whatever happened, um, horrible, horrible thing to happen. Um, and it's something that's, it just scares me um, here. Uh, that's why I always like to be home. You know, we've got the cameras up, but um, you know, it's just terrible, man, that people would do that. Um, so if you guys uh, out there uh, hear of croc monitors being sold, anything like that, you gotta let Tom Crutchfield, Crutchfield know uh, because they probably don't belong to him. Who's in here? She's waking up. It's Little Pinks. Hey, Pinky. Don't attack anyone, kid. There she is. She's just looking at us. No, it's not something to eat. This is, uh, you know, media. Don't eat it. Don't eat it, kid. See? It's not something to eat. But she's got a nice heat pad. She's good. I'm going to close this, okay, sweetie? Just nice and easy. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Okay. There we go. So she's good. She's going to come out. She's one of those lizards that's smart. She's always in her hide, um, which is good. All right, let's go over here now. Open up Guapo and oh, open up Petro and Petra too. Almost forgot. We got to get these kids uh, opened. Petro and Petra, of course, had babies. They just hatched. Many of you saw that video recently. Hello. Hello, how are you? How you doing? I gotta vacuum this out as well. Little poopies. It happens from time to time, friends. Oh yeah, that hinge needs a little uh, WD. All right, guys. You good, Petra? You good, Petro? Come on out. Good, 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 good. Okay, moving right along. See, this is kind of fun because you guys get to see um, pretty much all the animals, huh? Which is dope. Did I say dope? Wow, woo, uh, that's dope. Yeah, that's an old term. Anyway, moving along. It's a little dark in here, but all we, look at this pile up, oh my goodness. We're gonna open this. We're gonna shut this off because we don't need it any longer. Let's just pull this. Boop, 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 boop. And unplug our lighting in for a buttercup. Oh, there you go, buttercups up top. But look at this pile up we got here. I think I have a couple of redfoots that want to go uh, outside. So what do you say? We do it. We get them, get them out there. But, oh, excuse me, miss. I'm so sorry. I don't mean to, I, I'm just gonna pile them up on each other for a moment. Let's just pull them up. Nice and easy, oh, my finger's stuck. Um, yeah, this is about, just about getting these guys moved. There's Lego. Hi, little Lego. I'll move them back out. We just need to do this to open the door. So easy does it, kids. There's Lucky. All right, and then another unnamed Somali. There's a little gal. And then this is it. And now everyone that was pulled out, we'll go ahead and set them up so that they're not climbing on each other. Here, you can be first. There you go. Oh yeah, one more. Uno mas. Uh, there we go, okay. Oh yeah, you're, you guys, yeah, sorry. Forgot about you too. Right here. Uh, oops, sorry, yes. Just wanna make sure they don't flip it dip. All right, good. That's good, that's done. Red foot's good. Hey, look, mushrooms. Little human, little fungi. Nice. And there is our big girl. Hey girl. Hey. How you doing, precious? Good to see you. She's looking good. All right, we're gonna shut this though. I like to keep this door shut. 
Okay. <laughs> you guys enjoying this? Let me know in the comments below. I'm just taking you around, showing you what's going on. Um, this is my life. It's about making sure animals are happy and healthy. And uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. So uh, you gotta really like reptiles and keeping reptiles to enjoy this channel. Cause that's what we're doing, people. This is easy. Hello, hello, see they're on a heat pad. Hello, come on out, guapo and Lola. And then let's go get these two lunatics. You know what though? I'm gonna hold off on opening this until we put certain reptiles back in their habitats, which I need to do now. We'll keep this open. Chinese box turtles, no issues. These guys can take it. They can take the cool temps, not a problem. But we need to go in here into the room of doom. You remember the cockroach room? Here it is. We cleaned it up about a week and a half ago. Here's everybody. So um, yeah, they're staying. We got, <laughs> look at these little babies. They figured out they can squeeze in between these two little grates. Little baby rhino iguanas. Little baby rhino iguanas. How you doing? How you doing? Oh, better get down. Better get down. Go on, get down. So these little wackadoos, they're cute. So yeah, love them. Uh, all right, what I need to do is just move this. This is gonna come out, but I wanna first get some of the uh, lizards that I had to move. Of course, I'm talking about Robert Rubino, Blue Iguana, and Inky. So this is gonna be a challenge. This should be a challenge. Pull this up here, like so. Oh my gosh. Now Inky is no joke, people. How do I, if I grab her wrong, I get bit. Oh God, she's getting so big. Let's get the inks. Come on, Inky, 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 Inky. Inky. If you grab this girl wrong, she will nail you. See this? This is also something that monitors love to do. Uh, they just, she's gonna destroy my arms. People think I'm into self-harm, but no, I'm just a lizard keeper. <laughs> have anyone, has any of you lizard, have any of you lizard people uh, had people look at the scratches on your arms and think, oh boy, what is this person doing? Oh, hi kids, how you doing? Good to see you're out. Um, so yeah, now what I'm gonna do is, oh, oh, Inky. You little stinky inky. Oh, 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 oh yeah, she's really stinky, see? She's pooping on me. Guys, I'm gonna do this. As you know, I'm a one-man band these days because Tom is up in Connecticut. Oh, and uh, we miss you, Tom. But um, let's go ahead. I'll keep it, keep it chill. Keep it chill, inks. And I'm being gentle, believe it or not, guys. Don't worry. I'm not really hurting this lizard. Come on. We're going to go ahead and put her down. There she is. And let her go. Woo! Right in the water she goes. Right where uh, water monitor wants to be. Ooh, and she pooped all over me. So she's in there. No big deal. She's back. Let's get our next critter. While I, whilst I wipe you. Ah, good. Oh, and we can do this now. We can get Petra, uh, excuse me, uh, Crazy Sophia and our friend Stumps out. But look, we also put the baby, um, the young, excuse me, miss, don't be alarmed. Jesus, they get so alarmed. Good grief, good grief. We can let these kids out. Is there a tortoise over there? Yes, there's a little tortoise. Look at this little guy. Hey, little guy. And then there's Stevie. How do we get Stevie? She looked a little far away. Yeah, look. Well, what we'll do with Steve is, uh, what do we do with Steve? I got an idea. Hold on, everybody. I'm gonna just use my head like that. Put you guys down here, okay? And this is what separates us from a lot of other animals. We use tools. So the crows. Come here. Baby, no. Dude, excuse me, Stumps. Baby. I gotta see the, the animals move around also. 
And I gotta secure these. Um, I've gotta secure. See, we got, we got Stevie. Stevie's up and out. But you see this? All this stuff was secured the other day, and the animals tend to uh, obviously move it. So what I'm gonna do is drape it out for a little bit. See if that helps. Oh god, it's not easy. I know some of you people out there in YouTube land are gonna be like, "What is he doing, Cannon Man? What are you doing?" But I think that'll work. Okay. Okay. And then, oh, tada! Those lizards will come out on their own. I'm gonna wipe the poop off on my cargos, and we're moving along because we have to move along. Whew, okay, here we go. Hello, lady. Hello, lady. Do you know where that's from? Any of my older viewers? Hello, lady. Inconceivable. All right. Let me know in the comments below. What was I uh, quoting? Um, you know? Turns out that uh, when I thought Slinky was dead, he was only mostly dead. Slinky was only mostly dead a year ago, but I'm not taking any more chances. So we put Slinks inside this large vision cage because um, I'm not losing Slinky. We'll get him last. All right, next up, we've got a young man by the name of Bobby Rubino. And Bobby is a special case. Um, let's see, I, go ahead, I went ahead and put a zip tie on this. Bobby, do you think I can reach you without you biting my hand off? You pleasant little black throat. You pleasant guy. Come here, Bob. Bob Bobarino. Mr. Bob Dabalino. Okay. You guys uh, think I'm crazy? I don't know. I don't know. We'll put you right there, right like that. I'm just gonna grab the, the Robert, the Robbie. Come here, Robert. Oh, he's not a biter. He opens his mouth, he hasn't bitten me yet. Look at this guy, how big he's got, right? He, it, oh, but he's doing that monitor thing. He's crawling up the back of my, oh God, claws are sharp and I'm already scratched up from crashing. Look at this, look at what he does. Oh, it hurts. Oh, it hurts. Oh, it's like tons of needles in my uh, fingers. So we're just gonna hold with one hand because I need this hand. So Robert, again, the story on this guy is he's uh, a little special, you know? He's got that kink in the tail. He had some issues early on in his life and that was only uh, 10 months ago. And, um, you know, because these guys grow quite quickly. Let's open up his enclosure. Of course, this is the enclosure that Tanner Serpa designed for me. And there we go. Bob, you got yourself, kid. There you go. There he is. There he is. All right, son. He's going to climb up to the sun. And uh, you have a great day. I'll be back later. Check on you and give you a feed. It's feeding day today. All right, so he's back out. I love doing this because they need to be dealt with. Oh, sorry, I wasn't pointing at me. How you doing? Um, yeah, that's what's up. We are now going to, I'll get the guanas later. Let's get Slinky out. Let's get Stinky Slinky. Slinks, come on out, buddy. Come here, buddy. Come here, Slinky. Come on out, buddy. I know, that was a boring place for you, right? Was that boring, bud? Come on. Come on. Come on. I know, I know, I know. Come here. I'm bringing you home. You're going home, kid. You're going home. Dad will bring you home. Slinky! Look at this. Oh, crap. Oh, criminy. Criminy. Oh, he's a big lizard. Lumpy did good. And uh, Slinky's flying. <laughs> Look at him. Ah! It's a flying lizard. It's like some kind of Toho monster movie. Or Kaiju as the kids call them. Okay. Open. And go. There it is. You're home, boy. You're home. 
You're back, kid. You're back. Go exploring. Yes, I love you. You love this house, don't you? Good boy, Slinky Poo. Good boy, Slinky Poo. You're back in your house. All right, everyone. Animals are back where they belong. Slinky's doing his thing. He's going to lay in the sun. He's going to give me a whip, I can tell you that. That's body language for it. Back up off me, dude. So Slinky's back. Everything's good. The dogs are barking. Hallelujah. Life is as it should be here at the camp. We're going to get up into the 80s today. It's not going to drop below 65 degrees the rest of the week. So everyone's going to be outside. This is what I have to do. This is the winter. It's a big pain in my hine. But before I go, there's one more sweet creature that we've got to let out of her confines. Can you guess who it is? Can you? I don't know. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. I don't know. Where am I going next? Hardcore viewers know where I'm going next. You guys know what's up. It's Lagatha. We're gonna let her out. She's gonna come out and enjoy the day. And then, what was that? I think it was a little lizard. I think we had a lizard hiding that just fell. And um, hey, the lizard's off. Laggy. There you are. There you are, ready to come out and murder anything. Oh yeah, you little murderous. There she is. It's Lagatha, and she's on a heat lab, a uh, heat pad. And that's that. We did it. We are done. What's that, Lagatha? You're unhappy? You don't say. What do you want happy about? Were you cooped up too long? Well, come on out. Be friendly. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for joining me today on uh, my chores with the animals. We're going to feed animals later. Uh, we're going to build fences, all of which you will see in the upcoming videos. I just need to get this done. You guys come along with me. I keep it real here because I got to get this stuff done. I'm a one man band, man. I'm just like working this whole place myself. It's a lot of fun. It keeps me young. And uh, hey, man, maybe I'll see you out there at a uh, mountain bike event. I don't know. You can root me on and keep me from crashing. All right, everyone. I'll talk to you soon. Be safe. Be well. Take care of your animals. Okay. See you.